All right. Hello, Sagittarius. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are well and fine. I hope that you are cleansing and protecting yourselves, especially those of you who I was discussing a little bit about how real quick. <clears throat> Maybe I should put in a post because I don't want to waste y'all time with that. But I'll put in the post when I um, upload these to um, when I drop the, the link in the um, on the members in the members area. All right. But make sure that you're cleansing and protecting yourself because some of y'all may have had a lot going on. All right. And it's following you. Woman holding a coin. Maybe it's about your money. Community of people. Okay. I don't know. Let me see. Attachment. What's under the woman holding the coin? Angel of strength. What's under community? Root chakra. Mm. And that's in the middle of the read. Okay. Storm warning is under attachment. What's under angel of strength? Financial constraints. I figured it was something about your money. Root chakra. Happy family. And hostilities. See what I'm saying? When I was, I'm not going to go too much into it, but I remember having to redo y'all read that time because they, they warped the shit out of y'all video that time. And it was some really interesting information, but it had a lot to do with family. And what's so crazy about it, well, really your mother, right? But what's so crazy about it is that it just continued on. Like, it was really weird. Like, some of y'all reads would turn into, um, you know, like somebody doing some heavy shit, right? So you just got to be careful out here, all right? Try not to um, talk to, communicate, or be around people who are not of the light. You know, even if they try to fake it, they can't fake it long. It, it, it just can't happen. All right. So the first card up is woman holding the coin. And this is you, you know, using your intuition, your intelligence, your um, practical abilities. Because I feel like you got a lot of groundwork going with that root chakra is crossing it and hostilities is coming this way. So before it even gets to hostilities, right, go ahead and start now with affirming the opposite, doing the opposite, feeding your attention and your emotions into the opposite of hostile arguments, fights. It's like. The um this card with the hostilities is like somebody want to argue they want to fight by any means they want to be right. Look, he got he holding up a sword and like very you know choose your battles wisely. It's very important. I forgot who else read. I got choose your battles wisely and I gave them a little game. But you got your own game. But sometimes you know you need to hear from hear from somebody else because it makes you uh, feel seen as well, right? And that's why it's important to stay in the light because you don't want to be feel seen by the wrong people. Then you have community here, right? and um attachment so there may be uh somebody acting out of desperation you may have old patterns that need to be broken the way that you see yourself or see yourself in a certain community maybe you need to see things differently okay because what i'm seeing here is that someone may be wearing a false mask they may have an attachment right and that's when you get into people just like okay they be cool one minute then next minute they off the chain like what the hell going on like what's going on like, for real, what's going on? Like, you all right? Um, but you're seeing something clearly here. You're right in the br at the brink of moving forward. But when you do, it's going to cause some shit. I'm just telling you. When you release yourself from something, detach from something, it may be that, you know, um, you are seeing things that aren't there when it comes to um, help or communicating with these people in this group or this community. Um, then you have the angel of strength standing in your truth, your purpose, speaking your truth, um, walking in your truth here. And that also goes with that root chakra energy as well. Um, when you get down to your stability, your security, the foundation of who you are with the family card coming under that, that means that, you know, you need to stick to people who really are, um, family. Um, even, you know, though there's some type of hostilities that's coming under the storm, like these three cards over here, it's like... You go this way, this. You go this way, this. You go this way, this. So to you know, to go through all that, find out where you are in that, right? And you start fixing and working on you because you can't fix and work on other people. All right. Because I feel like whatever that storm is, it's going to be something that comes out of nowhere. And it's also going to be something that um clears the air, if that makes sense. So it's gonna clear the air, but that's what's going to make somebody mad that you the veil was lifted and after the debris settled and you rummage through all of everything going on you find out the truth and that's gonna cause some hostilities because you probably felt stagnant yeah death card and the seven of pentacles you probably felt stagnant you felt like you would never get out of a situation or fix certain things or what have you right 
And then you have financial constraints coming under that root chakra, something that is something that you do that you no longer should do is shadow work, something that you um, may be in a space of, you know, releasing yourself from the way that you connect to people, the way that you um, even view yourself, whatever this attachment is, you got to get to the root of that situation because it's causing problems in your finances. All right. It's bringing light to the dark and being very honest with yourself. What is this woman holding the coin here? Oops. Let's get these other cards. Because those over there probably would have got too dark anyway. What is this woman holding the coin? The five of pentacles. Scarcity, I told you. The morning. Make sure that you're up bright and early, getting things done, starting off your day very good. Um, you know, making sure that you have the mood that you're going to be in for the remainder of the day. And by any means necessary, that's what it's going to be. Because maybe when you go around certain people, talk to certain people, hear certain people, whatever it is, your mood changes. And you have to figure out, like, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Because anytime we see something in somebody else, we have to check ourselves and make sure we don't see it in ourselves. All right. It seems like the, the more that you do things, the further things um, are removed or moved out the way. And it has to do with this attachment. What is this community card? The six of wands. All right. You will be victorious. You will be look at five of swords and temperance. So you got to balance out your emotions. Don't go off on nobody. Let it be what it is, because I feel as though like this community of people need you. Um, there may it may even be that um, when it comes in, maybe you're a mediator. You are someone who is very balanced. Right. You're emotionally balanced, but you also know how to, you know, shift and alchemize emotions and alchemize conversations. Five of swords, because there may be some type of argument, um, this um, disagreement. Um, someone who is being very petty, someone who is very, you know, look at this, the three of swords and he has on a purple outfit. This one has on a, is a two of swords with a blue outfit. So this is what it's telling me. This three of swords, this may be the one that wants to win at all costs. They have a lot of crown energy. They have a lot of insight, but they don't use it right. Okay. Like I said, I feel like it may be somebody around you. When you get balanced, you're going to see who this is. Somebody around you is not playing for the same team as you. And it's like, do you're going to go back and forth with yourself. Do I communicate or, or don't I? Or do I just wait for this to, you know, I handle my business and wait for this shit to pan itself out. All right. What is this attachment here for Sagittarius? The fool, release yourself. It's time for you to free yourself of this, right? You don't know what it's going to look like on the other side. Yep, look at this. <sighs> the six of swords, refusing to argue, going through a rite of passage. Once you release this, this is something that you were meant to go through to release it so that you can grow, all right? And, you know, you're just reaching for better, doing better, moving, relocating, you know, reassessing your situation, um, detaching from, you know, these lower vibrational energies that may have attached to you. Um, in a certain space, maybe when you were wild and young and wild and free, possibly with that food card, adventurous, you know, may pick up a little something right there. And it could just be a pattern of behavior, a way of life, something that you really modeled yourself after that is not in, it's going, it's not beneficial to you and your growth. What is this? Um, what is damn, this angel of strength? Y'all call is just excited. They excited that. They must be excited that I told y'all. They are excited. All right. Ace of Wands and the Prince of Swords. All right. With the strength card. So this is that creative, that creative influx. This information that comes through that lights your fire. And it's like, don't communicate with nobody about it because I feel as though there may be someone who um is, you know, wants to uh say something that, you know, that they think that they are well versed in, and they are not. Let me see. What is this Prince of Swords? Because I could be lying. The four of wands, all right? They may be coming to your house or um, trying to say something to, you know, destroy your stability, which again, is on the side of this Archangel Michael. Don't take anything too personal right now, right? Especially like when it comes to people, you don't even know them. Like, bitch, I don't even know you, <laughs> like at all. Okay, high and by and passing, okay? What is this uh, root chakra with Archangel Michael? Very good to call on the tower. All right, something unexpected unexpected happens at night, but you are showing that you are very independent, very vivacious, very victorious. Um, you are stable. Nine of Pentacles is a very stable energy. So no matter what happens, you will still, your root chakra will still be in place. What is this uh, tower? When this tower hit, 
it's going to blow the roof off of something that happened in the past. This is going to blow the roof off of something. And this thing that happened in the past may have to do with your childhood. It may have to do with um, a, a lot of messages, communication that you see um, or hear. Oops. Six of cups and a tower. And you got five people falling out the tower. And you got five cups surrounding this person. Empty cups. The empty cups got to go. And like I said, the storm is coming after that. So that means that, okay, like I said, when you make a decision to start getting your life together, it starts revealing a lot of stuff to you, all right? The connection between you and other people, it's just a lot. It's like the equivalent of when people decide to stop doing drugs and now the people that they were doing drugs with tell them that they booze you. Kind of like that. You know what I mean? What is this storm warning? Temperance and the Queen of Wands. I told you, you're balanced. You're, you're doing things in moderation. You're working on yourself. You're going to have to use that alchemy um, energy in this storm because I feel like in order for you to remain um, in your purpose, in your truth, and not be pushed off your throne, you're going to have to be very, very balanced because something is about to really hit. Prince of Pentacles. Princes of Pentacles here. So this is, you know, take care of what needs taken care of. All right, in the practical realm. Protect what needs to be protected. What is this financial constraints? The king of swords. All right. Does this person owe you money? What is this king of swords here with this uh, Sagittarius energy? The ten of swords. All right. This may be someone who is trying to, you know, um, cause an ending, cause a financial ending for you or someone who um, is going to be flying high. I don't know if he's going to be an ancestor or what, but let me see. Because it's given uh, about to be Because sometimes people play too much and they be thinking they got a lot of time. And then you got people who do have a lot of time to lose their mind. Okay. What is this? Ten of Swords. Judgment. A choice to end something. A choice to end something when it comes to finance. This is you laying plans, preparing, taking time out to see things from a different perspective. Bringing balance into your life, not giving your time, effort, or energy to anything or anyone who does not. Nine of Swords. Um, and it's like you turned your back on that. Because, see, somebody that you may have been dealing with or someone who may have been around you in close proximity, somebody in your energy, whatever this is, may have been trying to cause anxiety, cause you reasons to worry, overthink things, and not be able to strategize. You got to turn your back on that shit. Know who for you and who ain't and keep it moving, child. Because there's too much weird shit going on out here. I ain't going to hold you. It's too much weird shit going on out here. Like, people ain't got no life. What is this uh, happy family here? This is grounded. This is something that will ground you. Judgment. Some type of judgment being served. Ten of Cups again. Ten of Cups, the Hermit, and the Seven of Wands. Protect yourself. Don't don't allow your, you know, when people try to challenge you or come up against you because um, you did have that Six of Wands victory up top with the community card, Root Chakra, Ten of Cups. Happy family, right? This may be a judgment about um, assets or a living situation, but overall, I feel as though there's um, a choice that you're going to have to stand on in order for you to move forward, in order for you to ride the chariot of ascension, in order for you to stay on the path, okay? You're getting a lot of divine insight about where you're going, how you're going, and what's going to be required of you. The horn is blowing. When the horn blow, you got to go, ho, okay? Even though we don't answer haze horns and um, haze horns and whistles, okay? But I'm just saying, the, look at that. Blowing the horn towards that chariot. Somebody got to make a move. And it's divine um, guided. It's gu divinely guided to make this move. What is this um, hostilities card? The six of wands. Choose victory over everything. You having victory over your enemies. Victory over hostilities. And it's going to bring you some type of reward. This is a new beginning. This is a new plan, project. Something that you are planning and you can watch her. <sighs> what is this um, hostilities here? For Sagittarius, honey, eight of swords. I told you, whoever this is is trying to get you wrapped up in your head. And if you if you fall for it, if you fell for it before ten of wands, you got to let that shit go because they are very much so like trying to be a burden, trying to cause issues. I wouldn't give in to it. Yeah, seven of seven of wands and the ten of wands. Let them handle their own shit. Cause usually anytime. Like, anytime somebody is this hostile, like, this is, like, you pulled your energy back, you got on your pad, you got on track, don't don't take yourself in circles. Don't take yourself in circles because you'll end up not, you know, um, you'll end up, you know, still being in the same place that you were uh, the, a moment ago. You'll still be um, 
talking about and viewing things in the same way and, and still experiencing some of the same things? No. What is this hostilities card? The lovers, all right? Family making a choice here, pulling yourself together and making a choice that is given to you. Information is given to you here. Choosing love, balancing yourself out. Maybe even, um, it may even have to do with um, some type of message that you receive after this. If you make the right choice to stay out of the drama, okay? Just stay out the drama, child. Say no to drama, okay? Say no to drama, and I feel like things are going to work better for you and your spouse because these outside interferences, whatever they are, may have been causing troubles in your relationship that shouldn't have even been there, y'all. All right, Sage, that's my um read for you, honey. Let's be safe out here now, okay?